A, for those who see this after the fact, just tonight, just relaxing, sitting back, re-watching some True Detective. Just popped it in there. It's on the TV right now. And uh, fair, I just do a stream while I'm just sitting back, relaxing, talking the talk here on Tuesday, and see what happens next. <coughs> yeah, apologize for my cough. Yeah, you know, even if you deal with the sickness, the cough lasts the longest. Hey, Alter Ego, how are you doing today? Plus, I figure, you know, this gives me something to watch while just hanging out, relaxing here, talking to everyone out there. Uh, doing fine, Alter Ego. Like I said, just relaxing, rewatching some True Detective. Finally got around to watching this DVD. So, kind of watch it while looking at the chat as well. Uh, there's another Teen Con show. Well, I mean, there's going to be a Godzilla show with Kurt Russell, so they want to milk that for all it's worth. And with as many ad revenue as possible. I mean, they're doing a Godzilla show with Kurt Russell, so I'm not surprised they're doing a Teen Con show. Sleuth, never seen Sleuth. Can't say I've ever seen Sleuth. <laughs> hey, Michael, doing okay? Just sitting here relaxing, rewatching some True Detective. Again, finally got around to watching this DVD. Had it for a couple months. <laughs> Uh, are you talking about Predator Hunting Grounds? Yeah, it didn't seem like much to me for a video game. Like, it's that much of a single player campaign. Uh, least favorite Seth Rogen movie? Probably this upcoming Ninja Turtle film. It's going to be that. <laughs> it's probably going to be that. Hey, Will Fair number one, how are you doing today? Killer Clowns from Our Space, video game. I don't know what you could do with a video game, to be honest. <coughs> Saw Blade Runner on the biz screen. That's very cool. They don't have that type of stuff. They don't have that type of stuff around here. Hey, Wonder Waz, how you doing? Um, what kind of animal would I be? I don't know, maybe a bird. How about some kind of bird? The ability to fly seems like a pretty cool ability. So why not a bird of some type? Hey, you too. How you doing? Hey, Uncle Bill. How's it going, man? Uh, just sitting down, relaxing. Finally got around to rewatching this. I picked this DVD up a while ago, this Drew Detective. And finally got around to watch it again. Because I seen the show and I really liked it. Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. Highly recommend this. Contained show. I forgot how many episodes this was. This was uh, eight episodes. So finally got around to rewatching this. So I figure while I'm rewatching it, I figure I'd just do a stream and see what happens next. But how's it going, man? Um, love to know what the hidden agenda is because it'd be news to me. She Hulk, I didn't watch that crap. Why would I watch some ugly ass green woman being a lawyer? If I want to watch a thin woman be that, I watch Ally McBeal. Miss Skeletor herself. Hey, AMBW, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by, man. 
Halloween ends, who gives a crap? I've heard so many uh, sp spoilers on Halloween ends, like rumors. They just, it's ridiculous at this point. I don't know if Uncle Bill or any of you guys have heard all the possible spoilers for Halloween ends. I mean, there's a rumor like every day about it. I don't care. I thought the previous film sucked. Halloween didn't need 18 movies. I don't know why Halloween needs 18 films. Michael Myers goes around, he kills people. That doesn't last for, you know... Seriously, how many have there been? Eight? Nine, ten? This would be the 13th film? <laughs> Technically, the 13th film. <coughs> I mean, I don't know how many ways Michael Myers can kill someone. And now the rumor is what? Uh, the granddaughter's in love with this guy named Corey and he's picked on and he joins with Michael Myers and then Michael Myers dies, but he puts on the mask and he'll be the new Michael Myers and the other girl will be the new uh, Laurie Strode. <laughs> yeah, I really look forward to that. If Michael Myers was a fucking alien, I wouldn't care at this point. Because it's all stupid. It's all just... Didn't need to be a long-ass franchise. I like the first four Halloween films. I can watch H2O. H2O is one of those movies that deserves the George Lucas treatment. Go back in, fix the mask. And fix some other little details here and there. That actually be worth more money to me, uh, worthwhile, than fucking Halloween ends and Halloween, why the hell, uh, kills. Screw Halloween kills. <coughs> yeah, there'll be 28 Halloween films. They'll keep going. It's like a lot of franchises. They do need to stop. No, please stop. You know what? It'd be an upgrade. But then <laughs> Jason X already did that. <coughs> I'd rather watch Jason X than Halloween Kills. I said it. I'll say it again. Steel Sharks, Deary Busey. Never heard of it. I heard Deary Busey got arrested for sexual stuff uh, from a convention. So that guy's brain damage really fucked his head up. Really fucked his head up. Um, we're no, I don't know what that is. How, I mean, like every franchise has been driven to the ground. Time and time again. <coughs> what movie are you talking about? I mean, maybe that's like a fantasy, but I don't know what movie that is. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. I mean, there's been fourth installments all the time. I mean, there's a Beethoven four. I just think of that because I think of your dog, the dog. But I mean, there's Elm Street four, Friday Thirty Four. I mean, there's plenty of part four. So, will we see Friday Third Elm Street franchise return? Unfortunately, yes. Because they don't want to give it, give up the ghost. Hey, boy, wonder how you doing? True fire, pink guy. Hey there. Um. Yeah, Saw films have never ended. I remember when Saw six or seven came out. You thought that would be the end, and then there was Jigsaw. Then there was the Chris Rock one. Yeah, Sharks of the Corn, yeah. Which takes place in Kentucky. That's a film Uncle Bill and CK need to watch. <laughs> Sharks of the Corn. Made in, I think, around where they live in Kentucky. Hey, View with Drew, how are you doing? Secret Life is Walter Mate. Never seen it, man. 
Hatchet three, four. I don't remember those Hatchet movies. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember them at all. Do you guys remember the Hatchet films? I don't remember them. Matrix 4 was BS. Well, I could have told you that. I told people before it came out, and people thought I was lying. Um, I don't remember those movies, to be honest. I don't even know what's going on Friday the 13th. They, they, something ended, and now there's plans to make a new film, from what I heard. Big surprise. Hey, Premier, hope you're doing well. Drop of Thunder. I think he was in that Gerard Butler film, the third Olympus Has Fallen movie. Angel Has Fallen? And he played Gerard Butler's dad? I think he was in that movie. <laughs> Salt has been greenlit. This is my surprise on my face. Yeah, I mean, the guy who made it wanted me to, he sent in a request for me to review it. And, you know, for what it is, cost like 800 bucks or something, he said. You know, I give credit where credit is due. Hey, Frothizzle Reviews, hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, you live in Kentucky, too? Cool. One person owns the mask, the other owns the Jason name. Great, you'll get a lot of weird movies coming out then. <laughs> um, <coughs> those images, <laughs> sorry about the coffin. The Thing 82 I pick. I love John Carver's The Thing, but they're all three good choices. Hey Ken, hope you're doing well. Doing all right. Just trying to get over this cough. Just watching, rewatching some True Detective. Hey Josh, I don't really have guilty pleasures. I like what I like, and I don't what I don't, and that's pretty much it. If I like it, I'll admit that I like it. And I'm fine with it. Uh, no, it just sucks. Sharks of the Corn sucks. I've seen the first level of Party Master. It's been a while. I remember it not being fun. I remember it not being bad. Uh, doing okay, Premier. Then just relaxing, watching a TV show, and and uh, <clears throat> fair. I just do a stream. I've heard of witchcraft. Yeah, there's like 16 movies. <laughs> I dare anyone to watch all of them. <laughs> um, I don't even know what films are coming out for the rest of the year. I don't even remember. Beast, you mean Idris Elba versus CGI Lion? Wow, big surprise. That's not making a splash at the box office. Um, my favorite character in Jaws is Roy Scheider's character. Um, I just like Predator 2. I like the fast pace. I like it being in the city. I like that it's a cop movie mixed in with the Predator movie. The first one's my favorite Arnold film. The second is my favorite Predator film. Now that sounds pretty stupid, to be honest. Uh, which Wolfman movie? There's a lot of Wolfman movies. <clears throat> Most insane sounding name of a person in Hollywood? I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest. <clears throat> Corey Feldman should be charging you $80. Corey Feldman ain't worth 80 cents. Fuck Corey Feldman. If it was Corey Haim, it'd be a different matter, but fuck Corey Feldman. He should be paying you $80.
fucking dipshit. Oh, cool. I'm glad you like Bullet Train. Cool. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that movie. Oh, thank you, AMBW. Wow, thank you. I really do appreciate that, man. Thanks. I'm working on my own independent magazine. It featured local MILFs who agreed to pose for it, interviews, articles. Sound like Larry Flint. Would you be down to review that if I send you a free copy of it and submit a pay request for it? Sure. I mean, is it a porno mad? I don't think I can show it because you say MILFs, but yeah, I'd be down for it. Um, I don't know how to give you my address. If you could contact me on Facebook, send me a message on Facebook, and uh, we'll go from there. Yes, just send me a message on Facebook, and uh, sounds good to me. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't mind. Leave that up for a little bit. Thank you for that, man. <coughs> Uh, the Derry Busey stuff is true because Fabio, uh, the Italian style, he was there. And uh, Derry Busey was out of it. And even during that time, there were rumblings that he would just talk to women and fuck with women and all that. And he was a total asshole to Fabio. And he's like deaf in one ear. And he just, his brain is so much scrambled eggs that honestly, Derry Busey should not be doing shows. The guy is so far out there, his brain is scrambled eggs. I, I hate to say it, but that's the truth. So, yeah. <clears throat> Wolf Cop, eh. I wasn't into it like other people were. Uh, Will Ferrell, thanks for the kind words. How would I write the Alien films? Aliens is my favorite. And then it's Alien. And those are the only two good ones. <laughs> Buddy Holly's story never seen. Um, I rarely use Twitter, so I don't remember the last time I tweeted. Uh, the Conjuring, I, I liked it for what it was, but I don't rewatch it a lot. How would I rank the Elm Street films? The fourth one's my favorite. That's the one I grew with the most. And then part three. The worst one is the remake. Uh, Attack on Titan. I'm very indifferent on it. Very indifferent. <clears throat> Lord Cosmo, hello there. Let's see. Uh, the Wolfman remake with Ryan Gosling. Uh, I'm indifferent on it. I don't know how many times you need to have a Wolfman remake. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't know how many times you need to remake that. I've seen bits and pieces of Crash. I haven't seen the whole movie, though. Hey, Drake, how are you doing? Well, I'm not surprised. Dear Busey, they like say he's scrambled eggs. The direct video Secrets of Lost Boys, the second one is trash. The third one for direct video film is not that bad. <clears throat> Would I get Bullet Train on Blu-ray? Maybe. Um, I reviewed Higher in the House on the channel. Yeah, I liked it for what it was. <clears throat> well, I'm glad to live in the guy's mind, and I don't know who's tweeting to because no one knows who I am, and I never go on Twitter, so... Um, shows how much of a winner that guy is. 
Uh, what am I watching? I'm rewatching uh, True Detective, which I have reviewed and finally got around to watching this again. So just letting this play while I just do the stream. Uh, no one requested more BS, so there you go. Um, Ginger Dim Man, I thought was pretty trash. Uh, favorite Halloween is Halloween 2. Favorite Child's Play, probably Child's Play 2. <coughs> Yeah, Jurassic World Dominion sucked. It was a terrible movie. Fair Friday 13th, Jason Dole's Hell Final Friday. No matter how many people get butt hurt with that answer, I still love that film. Aunt Bully didn't see it. Favorite James Bond film, Goldeneye. Chucky Gets Lucky, yeah, shitty movie. Bride of Chucky, that's a shitty film. <clears throat> he Austin Wilcud, hope you're doing well. Fair Werewolf film, Dog Soldiers. That's my fair werewolf film. <coughs> Sorry, looking through the comments. Someone mentioned about Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, I remember not minding Sleepy Hollow for what it is. Um, I don't have the 4K of Dog Soldiers because I don't know what the picture quality is because the last time I bought it was Stream Factory and that picture quality was absolute junk. Hollow Man 2, junk. Um, I go with Crank 3 on that one. Hey, Jack will go kick. <clears throat> yeah, I know everything's getting remade. I mean, why are people surprised? But yeah, the Dog Soldiers 4K, I know CK reviewed it on uh, Dead Pit. I want to... I want to know how the picture quality really looks because I'm not going to get it. And then, oh, it's the same crappy picture like the Blu-ray, which looked like a damn Grindhouse movie and waste my money on that. She-Hulk, didn't see it. No one requested it. So I don't care about She-Hulk. Really don't care. Didn't watch Trudens Bluff. Yeah, why are people surprised that it was not original? I mean, you can say they haven't been original for a long ass time, so I don't know why people are surprised. Like, people act as if this is the first thing they've heard of film being remade. <laughs> Wow, that's cool, Predminator. Yeah, those are they're good guys, Uncle Bill and CK. They're pretty cool guys. The background noise is me watching a show. Two Detective Season One. Well, then I have a tagline that's R rated and they have to censor, at least not back in the day. Then see Lightyear. <clears throat> yeah, the Blu-ray looked crappy.
Do I miss Tony Scott? Sure, he was a good director. Made a lot of solid movies like The Last Boy Scout and Man on Fire. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of other issues going on with Hollywood, but the, yeah, those are two big ones. Um, I don't know. I think Clint Eastwood should just retire and relax. He's made enough movies. Didn't see The Beguiled. Dead video franchise. I don't know. I guess Silent Hill. I reviewed Two Meals for Sister Sarah on the channel. I reviewed it. Callum, doing okay. <laughs> Worst film I've seen this year, Men is up there. Men and Prey are definitely up there. I don't remember the soundtrack, The Bride of Chucky. Bob's Burgers, never seen. Never been to a comic, never been to any convention. They don't have them around where I'm at. Hey, Infinity Darling, doing okay. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 4, I don't care about Kung Fu Panda 4. Um, such that he died, I mean... Oh, well, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Then see Elvis. Steve Martin retiring? I mean, I thought he was retired, so I can't, you know, doesn't really do anything for me. I mean, I like Steve Martin, but I thought he already was retired, so there you go. Yeah, I didn't mind Fargo. Um, no, I don't have the Child's Blade 2 store. What do you think Paul Rubens turned 70? I don't care. I mean, cool for him. I mean, I, I don't care. Ha happy birthday. I don't know what else to say. <coughs> I mean, you can make an argument all those films you mentioned suck, so... I mean, I guess the best one I would say is Freddy vs. Jason. Never heard. No, he has a TV show. Life stings, never seen life stings. My favorite Stallone movie, uh, Rambo for Split Part 2 and Cobra. You enjoy Bullet Train? That's cool, man. Hey, Bobby, hope you're doing okay. More Combat 2. I don't care about a sequel to a film I thought sucked. Dawson Chris Duppin, I already shared him in that video I did reacting to Chris Duppin. No, no one requested Morbius, so I didn't see Morbius. You did an Alien Special Edition on Laserdisc? That's cool. Uh, congrats on that. Aliens is a great movie. I guess that you have a Laserdisc to actually play it, or you just collect them. <laughs> I don't want anything remade at this point. They've just find a way to screw it up. I don't care what the plot of Creed 3 is. It's going to suck. Because Creed 1 and 2 sucked. Of course they want to do Prey 2. Because Prey was such a smashing success. So why would they not want to do it?
Um, Ishbo Mess, stick with live action content. I don't know. I mean, hey, Luis, hope you're doing okay. The World Cup game, I don't know. Let's, it does look pretty cheap. And then we got Peter Weller voicing the character again. Because nowadays, you give him enough money, he'll do anything. KOT and Productions, hello there. They did a hard target, too, and it sucked. Had Scott Atkins in it. <clears throat> Doing all right, Luis? Just dealing with this cough. Nope, no one requested Slender Man. Ah, laser discs are too expensive in the UK, so you just collect them just for the sake of it. That's cool. Yeah, I know there's a Texas Chainsaw game coming out. I don't really care, but uh, no one's requested them, so no. Dead meat. I have no idea why the hell people watch the guy. This fake ass annoying radio voice. Hello, my name is the dead me. I saw that stupid documentary in search of darkness. What a waste of fucking time that was. I'm glad I didn't pay money for it. And then they milked it for like three parts to have people pay eighty dollars each time. And either it's info you already know, or it's just this is what the movies are borrowed. And the part for part one. Half it was that fucking dead meat guy narrating it. And it was this fake radio announcer voice. And this is what the movie's about. And I'm like, yeah, I could get the same info on Wikipedia. Congrats on paying $80 for it. <clears throat> Call the Wild, never seen. Batman Cape Crusader, I don't even know what that is. Uh, Godzilla Final Wars, Willis Wonderland, there's nothing similar about them. I think this year's been pretty good for movies, honestly. Dead by Daylight, never played it. Film Brain, never watched. Uh, haven't seen Day Shift. I don't have any streaming services because my internet is uh, Sally internet won't support them. <clears throat> yeah, I know there's a shaft moon in 2000 start Samuel Jackson. I reviewed the empty man on the channel. Uh, I haven't seen Web Movie 1 in a long time, but he seems like a cool dude. Like I said, never played Dead by Daylight. Yeah. Thanks, Luis. I doubt, I highly doubt Day Shift is trash. Then watch my name is Earl. <clears throat> I just ranted on In Search of Darkness. <laughs> my name is not Earl. Prototype, never played it. The Castlevania games, I mean, I played Super Castlevania 4 for Super Nintendo. No, I don't watch the John Wick trailers. I watch them blind when they come out. So that the trailers don't spoil me. So no, I don't watch the John Wick trailers. Because I watch them blind.
fast food nation never even heard of it. <clears throat> uh, turning red, I mean, worse, sure, sure, it'll be on the list. Favorite Shrek movie? I guess the first one, but uh, I guess. Well, I mean, people said that movie Carter wasn't good either, and I thought that was a really good one. So I, I hate to say that I don't really take anyone's word for anything. <laughs> I've heard so many people talk about how Nope was the worst movie of the year and how Carter on Netflix was such a bad movie. It's a 5.1. And I saw him and went, I thought these were really good. So again, I, no disrespect to anyone, but uh, the only opinion I take into is mine. <clears throat> frame by frame hey there i did record the review for the breaking bad episode that'll be uploaded in a few days thank you once again playstation vr2 i don't care about vr i never used it vampires the turning never even heard of it um hey thank you for the two dollar super chat um, I wouldn't do a team up. I wouldn't want to see that. I think that would be a bad movie. I mean, I hate to say it, it would be a bad movie. <coughs> they should have removed Avatar because the film sucks. Fair cars film, they all suck. Fair Van Damme film would be hard target. <laughs> Hey, Cat Fight Paradise. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed at least some of it. So I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Yeah, I don't care about Avatar being re released. I don't give a rat's ass about it. Would you like to watch it? No. Show sucks. Hey, Shadow Combat, hope you're doing well. Uh, Mandy and Nick Cage, I really enjoyed it. Hey, The Shadow, hope you're doing well. Favorite soundtrack? The Rocky IV soundtrack. Luis, happy birthday. I know that's coming up. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the poster. Yeah, I love the, po love the movie. Favorite Nick Cage film, probably Con Air. <laughs> Black Adam and Shazam 2, neither. I don't care about either one. Let's go through the opening credits. I already know the opening credits. I don't think Avatar 2 is going to flop. I would guarantee that's going to make a lot of money. I would bet money it would. Because nostalgia sells. Where Stranger Things character, most of them. <laughs> Avatar 2 is not going to flop. I don't. I think it'll be a boring movie, but I don't think it's going to flop. Well, everything about Alien 3 pisses me off, so. Alien 3 is herpes. Nope was a good movie. Inspiring No Way Home sucked. That's why. Nope actually had a decent story. Spider-Man No Way Home was this jizz about these older Spider-Men. And look how shitty this plot is.
So, because Nope was a better movie, and Spider-Man No Way Home sucked. Spider-Man No Way Home is a bunch of cat piss. Nope was actually a decent film. <coughs> um, because they don't they overuse the word cheesy. My favorite James Bond film, James Bond Golden Eyes, my favorite. Uh. Why do we need another Hercules? Didn't they just do one with Dwayne Johnson? Didn't they just do one? So why do we why do we already have another Hercules? I thought it was fine. It was all that is. I'll spoil it because either people saw it or they don't care about it. There's a flashback to Stevie Yoon's character. He was on a sitcom where this one of those sitcoms like BJ and the Bear, like that type of stuff, and they don't know how to tame an animal, and the animal gets loose and kills people. And it's all done by suggestion, and this kid is traumatized, and that's what affects Stevie Yoon when he's much older. And he thinks he could tame something else because he got out of that situation when he was a kid. And I like that the it was a creature feature film. I like that the I'll spoil it. So spoilers. I like the twist that the UFO is the creature, is a creature that eats people. And through his digestive juices eating and swallowing people, people are screaming bloody murder, and you hear I thought that was a creepy, effective sequence. And I like that B movie aspect. It wasn't pretentious and preachy about fucking race. That's what I liked about it. Jordan Peele got away from that, at least for a movie. So I liked it. The pacing could be punched up and Michael Wincott could be used more, but I, I liked it. I don't care about a Hellraiser reboot. We already got a female Cinnabite and Hellraiser 4. So people act as if that's like a new thing. I mean, Hellraiser 4 already did that. And I'd rather see... Doesn't Clive Barker have like 50 other stories you could adapt that has nothing to do with Hellraiser? That we have to do Hellraiser again? Is there like another 50 Clive Barker stories you could do? Something new? Something different? Something more original? Wouldn't that be nice? <coughs> I'm saying Toby over West Craven. I go with West Craven. John Wood films are just badass action movies where Keanu Reeves kits a lot of ass and well choreographed action scenes. I mean, there's really not much else to understand. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. He's a badass kicking ass, taking names, and having a good body count. <laughs> I don't care about people on the stairs remake, regardless who's making it. I'll just go watch the original. So what? No one else. But think about that. I. To me, is he the bad guy? Is he a villain? Does that ever come into play? Not really. So can no one be called OJ because some guy was an asshole who killed his wife? That's like no one can ever be called. 
uh, Jeffrey, because you have Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, no one can be called OJ ever again. No, I enjoyed Nope. It's just a regular movie. Wash your ass, Ch Chucky. Sorry that your TV show sucked. Kenobi book? No, didn't read it. Well, Chucky's just mad that his TV show sucked so much ass. Well, Chucky, your videos are your movies are trash. At least lately. You look like that ten figures. That's cool. I don't care about the Flash movie. Yeah, whatever, dude. Frame by frame, just ban the guy. That's the thing with mods. Like when it's so, people like that, you don't have to wait. You do it right away for the mods out there. If someone's going to be that much of an ass from the get go, just do it right away. You don't have to wait for it. That's what you guys are mods for. I reviewed Prey on the channel. It's dog shit. Dog shit movie. Yeah, the first two aliens are great. Do I walk like a soul? I would go, so what? I don't need a Robocop poster. They release full. Well, they've been saying that for like five years they release it soon, so I'll believe it when it's actually out. Oh, cool. Good luck on your writing. Yeah, I enjoy falling down with Michael Douglas. Very good movie. So, yeah, good luck with your, uh, with your book series. You have a title? Uh, I don't know anything about Ezra Miller. I don't keep up with his. Sorry, I don't keep up with Ezra Miller's life. I got enough posters. I have no room to put them, so I don't need any more posters. Is Sam Raimi? No, not even close. 2018 Predator is the worst one. Yeah. 
You're defending a guy who literally molested and felt up people and did all sorts of horrible stuff, including letting a little kid eat a bullet, like literally eat a bullet and swallow it. You're defending that guy just because he's non-binary uh, shows what kind of person you are. You want to defend people like that. Nice shade high, cool. It's about a science teacher and his daughter go on a spree the same way Michael does. Oh, cool. Nice shade. I look forward to it. Hey, Caleb, hope you're doing well. Since the mods won't do their job, I will do it for them. So, yeah, goodbye, guy. I said, "Think has there no digital loony?" But there you go. Yeah, he deserves a lot of things. A uh, good kick in the ass, all sorts of stuff. He deserves a lot of things. Because he's a tool and he uses people and he's hurt a lot of people and he's done a lot of horrible things. And regardless of who your pronouns, what your pronouns are, you can't do horrible things. Uh, I don't know how to mod people on the phone. Um, yeah, I don't know how to mod people on the phone. Otherwise, I would. I'd have to give my computer and open up the thing or the mod. <clears throat> no, it's on the phone. It says start comment, put user and time on block user on the phone. On the f phone, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. You don't know what a mod is, Polly, on the internet? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. That didn't give you permission. Well, I'm sure if he ever gets into prison, a lot of people don't be doing that for... <laughs> For a lot of reasons. <coughs> exactly. No, it's just a person just wanting to cause a ruckus. That's all it is. I did not have to get my computer in order to do that. Maybe next time I have the computer here. I didn't watch the new She-Hulk show. No one requested it. Sandra Bullock, I enjoy as an actress. Always enjoyed her as an actress. And I don't care about the new Flash movie. My favorite Rambo sequel is the second one. That's my favorite. Um, I like the movie Seven. It's a good movie, well made. Why? Because I like Ramble too. <laughs> I mean, I grew up with Ramble. In fact, uh, Predminator, he was nice enough to send these from my Amazon wish list. 
uh, 4K Rambo 2 and Rambo 3, which are my two favorite Rambo films. So, you know, that was very cool. So, if Predator is still in here, I want to thank him for that. Never saw Moonfall. No one requested it. I've just been busy doing paid requests. <clears throat> Star Wars The Force Unleashed don't have the game. Why would he need an R-rated version of Doug? David Cromer, Roland Emmerich? Roland Emmerich's Roland Emmerich Stanners and David Cronenberg's. <laughs> Universal Soldier would be curious what he would do with that. <coughs> My favorite trilogy? Well, what's a trilogy anymore? Every other than Back to the Future trilogy, what other trilogies are left? I don't watch WWE, so I don't really care. Don't even know what's going on. Uh, no one requested She-Hulk. No problem, Predminator. You know, anytime someone tells me I have to watch something, I probably end up liking it. Like Carter, that Netflix film, it did like a 5.1. People were like, oh, that movie sucks, and I liked it. Same with uh, Nope. Same with uh, Rusty Rangers. <coughs> I just have a different uh, taste than most people, I guess. Just a different taste in movies. Never read She Halt the comic book, so I don't know nothing about her. Don't like the original Standards. I like Standard Cop. Which I know there's a 4K of that and the sequel, which I need to get sometime. Uh, Luis, what, like what? No, I don't, I don't know anything about it. All I know is all the rumors I've heard about Halloween ends and what the plot is. Something about the rumor I heard was that it was some granddaughter of Jamie Lee Curtis characters with Corey, some new character. And uh, I don't care if people like Halloween Kills. I don't care what you like. I just have my own opinion. You can like whatever movie you want doesn't matter to me but yeah like this Corey guy got picked on and he becomes friends with michael myers and then helps michael myers and then he becomes the new michael myers at the end i highly doubt it's the worst i like the core let me put it this way i like the core with hillary swank I like Geostorm. I like the core. I like Geostorm. So I like those two movies. So I probably would like Moonfall because I'm fine with it being dumb. Does the core and Geostorm are dumb, but I find them pretty fun and I like them. So I like the core. I like Geostorm. So there you go. And those are not popular choices. <coughs> Uh, I don't really get cinema crushes. The only crushes I would have is in real life. Uh, Standers 2, I didn't mind. Standers 3, not so much. Never read Thanos in the comic books. Um, I, that's up to you, Luis. 
Um, I'm not going to tell people what to do. I have an Amazon wish list on my channel. If ever, anyone ever wants to send me something, I'm fine with receiving. People get mad when you say that, though. You take gifts. Yeah, of course they do. Who wouldn't? It's not like, I won't do anything. I mean, yeah, of course I'll say yes. Uh, neither. Uh, just leave them alone. Leave them alone. I hate the Halloween new films. I don't want to see any more Elm Street. Let franchises die. Move on. Make a new franchise. I liked Malignant. I even liked uh, Happy Death Day and the sequel. I want to see new franchises. I like Willy's Wonderland. I like... I want to see new stuff. They won't always be good, but I prefer that than what would it be? Favors Jason 8, Remake 9, a 10th Elm Street film? Why do people want to see that? Why? Well, no matter what the rumor is, I already know the film will suck. I'll put it that way. Yeah, I mean, it is a good speech, Network. It is a good speech. <clears throat> yeah, I don't mind the fly, too. It's not as good as the first one, though. But it has some really nice uh, makeup effects. Never saw 50... That 50-50 I never saw. The 50-50 I saw was an action film with Peter Weller. Hey, Sashim, hello there. Uh, frame by frame, uh, I'll check that later on my... I, don't, I can't check the email here on the phone. I'll check that later, frame by frame. Hey there. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> um, yeah, I saw I'll be up in a few days. Uh, I'll get to when I can. I recorded. Uh, that's a film that's really not as good as I remember. It's a time waster, but it's a time waster, but it's a little bit of a rant as well. Because uh, Wedding Crashers does not hold up that well. Kurt, I already said, I don't care if you don't like Halloween. I don't care if you like those movies. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me what people like. People have their own opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, Cole Warner, you can. I mean, it's not going to matter, but uh, Luis, uh, you feel free to message me on my uh, uh, Facebook if you want. Polly, take care, man. <clears throat> Corey discipline for killing the kids babysitting well then that's really going to go into the plot of they said if that's official and then they also said that it's a movie that will piss people off so what will piss people off having a new Michael Myers and having someone take the place of it. And they said that on purpose. I think that will buy, that will absolutely be because they want to make new films. And Michael Myers is like 70 years old now. And Jane Lickers ain't going to do this squat anymore. And they don't move on and try to have more because it's never the over. Halloween ends as in Michael Myers ends. 
Michael Myers will that Michael Myers will end. There'll be another <laughs> Sammy Myers. The thing about Wedding Crashers, when you watch that, it's actually pretty uh, ugly of a movie. I mean, a big comedy point is Vince Vaughn's character getting raped, and it's played for laughs. Uh, that's, I mean, when you look at the world of today, uh, it's just like, this isn't really that funny. This guy got tied up stuck with a sweaty sock and raped by a woman and it's supposed to be funny. They just, yeah. The two actors did fine, but watch it again. I'm like, this is not, this is a pretty, their moments are pretty abhorrent in that movie. <coughs> Let's see. Sorry. Got away from the, the chat. Got away from me. Uh, I don't even know what the perfect witness is. If it's good, as many as it can, but most of them, they just peter out <coughs> fairly quickly a lot of times. And nowadays, it's just milking stuff that's already dry. And there's nothing left. Hey there. Never been a fan of the Prowler. Good makeup effects, but I think the characters are pretty lame and the story is very lousy, in my opinion. <coughs> um, I have no idea. True lies? <laughs> The top four action movies, Hard Target, Aliens, Rambo 2, and Predator 2, or Rambo 3 or something like that, I don't know. Well, yes, I'm going to keep my DVDs. They're going to be usable for a lot longer than people I think they are. Most overrated movie ever? I have no idea. Yeah, if you stop making, but that will never happen. Uh, never was requested the room, but to be honest, there's not much to say. It's been overplayed. It's lost its luster for laughs. Everyone has made fun of it. So it to me just it's a boring movie to be honest. There's only so many times you could go, "Hey, Mark," you know. It's like, okay, kind of. I get it now. Uh, yeah, I reviewed it on the channel. Yeah, I agree. My Blade Valentine, I liked a lot. I do like Terror Train. Yeah, you don't need a sequel. Uh, Cole Warner, you can if you want. That's up to you. Uh, it's favorite horror, to probably Ash from the Evil Dead trilogy. Never read a Godzilla comic. Well, Heavy Metal Turtles, Jaws isn't really an action movie, though. Don't care, because I thought the No Way Home sucked. 11 minutes, are not going to save that movie. I like the fly too. I don't care about the Lord of the Rings power. 
Power Stone, Power Rain, Thunder Power, whatever the hell. I have no idea what the controversy is because I never liked Lord of the Rings, so I don't follow any of the whirly Diego around it. <coughs> um, I didn't watch much of Dragon Ball. I haven't seen. I've seen maybe one clip of it. I think someone requested a reaction to. That's like the only thing that I've seen, and I can't even remember. I, I think I didn't mind it. Lazy Town 2004, never heard of it. Yeah, I know your favorite movies, Robocop, Luis. You've mentioned it. Um, I w Ghost in the Darkness, it's, it's okay. It's all right. It's there. Berserk, don't even know what Berserk is. Yeah, I know Beyond the Law with uh, Charlie Sheen. I remember not minding the film. Game of Thrones, I've only seen like one or two episodes and I don't really care about it, to be honest. Never been, I don't really care about Game of Thrones. Stephen Hopkins, Hidden Misdirector. Love Predator 2, but don't like Lost in Space. Main actress got paid ten million for a tennis film. I don't care. I'm never going to see the tennis film. The relic get a four K. Sure, I, I would see that. I would see a relic four K. That'd be cool. Well, good for him. He, since he can't get work in movies, you got to do something. Why? I already said my thoughts on Titanic. The film sucks. I don't care about Alice Jones. I'm indifferent. Don't care. How is it extremely narrow? In what capacity? How are you going to enjoy a movie? And how are you going to enjoy a horror movie? Like, you give me a list, and I'm just going to be honest, and I'm not going to lie and sugarcoat it. Sorry. Yeah, Aliens, I do rate highly because it's got great, likable characters. It's got a rousing pace. It's got a sight in action. It's got a drilling pumping store. It's got great technical feats of special effects. And it's got a great character in its main focus. It has a wonderful beginning, middle, end, and has a rousing action picture. I like a variety of horror films. I like The Legend of Hell House with Roddy McDowell. I like The Exorcist 3 with George C. Scott. I like creature feature films like The Relic and Deep Rising. I like slasher films like My Blade Valentine and Halloween and Nightmare on Elm Street. I like Session 9. Jacob's Ladder with Tim Robbins is one of my favorites from 1990. I don't give a fuck what post-horror is. I just care if a movie's good or not, and that's in the eye of the beholder. I can enjoy a film like Requiem for a Dream. I can enjoy a film like Meatballs. There's a wide variety of films I enjoy. Give me a list, and The Change in the Jersey Scott, great Slow burn of a ghost story. Give me a whole list. I can tell you what I like and what I don't. Just not going to lie. Right. Don't care about The Exorcist. Over it is fuck, boring as fuck. I think The Exorcist 3 is better. 
not going to fucking lie. Because to make someone else happy. <laughs> Video drama I like is one of my favorite Cronenberg films, along with The Fly and The Dead Zone. Killer Clowns from Our Space, that's a fun movie. I enjoy that. But I also enjoy Get Out and Nope from Jordan Peele. I love the Blah remake from 1988. I enjoyed. Uh, I didn't give me a list. As Al Pacino would say, what you got? Hey, I don't mind Demons. I like the first Demons. The second one just felt like a remake of the first one, but I like the first Demons. It has a pretty good soundtrack. <coughs> How are you doing, Crazy Jay's Adventures? But yeah, I mean, I like a lot of films from the 80s and 90s. My favorite decades. I come in peace with Dolph Lundgren, Death Machine with Brad Dourif, uh, Steve T's Graveyard Shift. Uh, I like the first couple Critters movies. I mean, it goes all around. I also like Session 9. I also like 1990 Jacob's Ladder. I like a lot of movies. Okay, give me a movie and I will. I mean, I'm sorry that it's 80 people in a stream and I can't pontificate a movie for 10 minutes for one person. Give me a movie. I'll tell you why. I think it's that. Give me a movie, Neil. Parkinson, give me a movie. Be my guest. Give me a movie. I mean, we have over 80 people and people are coming in. Yeah, I can't pontificate for five minutes on a movie. I can if you want. But then, you know, the other 75 people waiting for their comments, they're like, okay, enough time. Uh, that one, I don't know. Uh, that one I couldn't get into. Uh, those are two very completely different movies. That's a strange comparison. Maniac Cop, I don't mind. I prefer the second one. Uh, Batteries Die Included actually reviewed. I don't mind the, the film for what it is. Actresses 3, I enjoy it. Why do I enjoy it? I think it has a rich atmosphere. I think it has a powerhouse performance by George C. Scott. I think his scenes with Brad Dourif is a great mano a mano of verbish quality to it, where George C. Scott and Brad Dourif are on top of their game and their verbal sparring in the padded room is exceptional. I think for a first time director, William Peter Blatty had a lot of great creepy images, like the woman on the ceiling that pops out of nowhere. It has one of the best jump steer moments of how you do a jump steer effectively when it's showing down the hallway and it builds up to that weird scissor thing coming out and chopping someone's head off. I think it's got, again, a nice atmospheric quality to it. I even like the exorcism <coughs> at the end, which was made after the fact. And I like that it was a detective story mixed in with an exorcism because those are – Detective stories I'm very intrigued by, and I prefer. One of the reasons I like the first power of Lou Diamond Phillips or Deliver Us from Evil with Eric Bana. <coughs> so, Exorcist 3, I think, is miles better than the first one because I think the first Exorcist is overrated. It's not that scary. I thought it was fairly boring. And the big moment is a girl jerking off with a cross. I understand that was shocking. It doesn't affect me. But because religion, I'm open-minded but indifferent on it. But I find the characters and the acting much more striking and much more palpable to watch in Exorcist 3.
yes, the 1999 film is still my favorite Blair uh, found footage. I don't know what that is, Ty. You have to let me know what that is first. Um, I don't know, honestly. Worth Batman film? Batman. Uh, no, The Dark Knight Rises is the worst. Completely stupid, idiotic, overrated, long, boring. Uh, Bane sounds ridiculous with his wannabe Sean Connery if he was trying to play Darth Vader voice. The Funhouse is okay. The Dark and the Wicked, never seen The Dark and the Wicked. I've never even heard of that film. The Boudins, it's a slow burn, has some deep, decent atmosphere, has some, the acting is competent enough. The monsters, a little bit ridiculous. I mean, they're pretty much giant turtles <laughs> in a way. But it does have that old school 80s feel to it. Um, not the most exciting or bloody movie, though, but it's okay. Yeah, I like The Collector and The Collection. I like Josh Stewart. It was great to see a, a guy as a lead and try to make him interesting where he's a thief, but he's got a bit of heart to him. Like he goes back to save the little girl. And you know the villain's like an evil Kevin McAllister with all the crazy traps. I prefer them over the Saw movies because I think you have an actual main character that you could follow unlike the Saw films. Not a fan of the Legion cut. I prefer the theatrical cut. The Changeling of Jorsey Scott, great. Great movie. <clears throat> Copycat, I barely remember. No, I disagree. I think the first actress is not a classic. I think it's I fell asleep watching on VHS. I think it's supremely boring. I have no idea why people find that film scary. And to me, just uh, the first exorcist sucks. Uh, love end of days, end of days of Lawrence Schwarzenegger. I don't see what's boring by Exorcist 3, but teach their own. Uh, no, Luis, that was in the first Exorcist movie. Uh, Halloween 5 is way worse. <laughs> the dark and wicked sucked as well. There you go. Uh, ACDC, Black Sabbath, Kiss, then Iron Maiden. <clears throat> uh, I prefer Halloween 2 over Elm Street 2, but I like both. Uh, no, I would not want that. No. No, I don't know why you think I'd be into My Little Pony, but he's thrown. Beast looked look like crap. I mean, Idris Elba versus a CGI lion. Hey, John Smith. Spider Man 2018 game, never played it. Doing all right, just sitting back, watching, re watching, as you say, True Detective Season 1. Followed you around to re this again, and just sitting back, relaxing, and doing the stream. 
Arnold's worst film, that's hard to say. Uh, Sabotage is up there. I'll go with Terminator Dark Fate. <clears throat> Never read the, the book Legion. Jimmy Seville, I don't know who that is. Do I want to see through the Friday 13 remake? It's too late. That was 2009. It's now 2022. <laughs> it's too late. Um, I don't really like rooting for the villain. I mean, I that's not really why I go watch movies or horror movies. If you like Cyborg 2, then you must be really drunk. Drunk off your ass. Stay off. I don't know what kind of drink you need to stay off if you think Cyborg 2 is great. The one with Jack Palins putting his mouth up to the moon. Need a cold spoon. I don't know. If someone's simping for Cyborg 2. Now I've seen everything. Cyborg 2? Really? What's next? Cyborg 3, The Recycler, is your favorite movie of all time? Give me a break, dude. Seriously? I mean, your avatar looks like you're drinking something. I don't know. You say chicken soup, maybe it's chicken shit. I don't know. Mixed in with vodka or something, man. I don't know what kind of vodka you're drinking, but you need to, you know... Dilute it somehow. I reviewed the the pilot of Smallville. That's really the only as far as I've seen it. I reviewed Killing Gunther. The reviews on the channel. Uh, I did. I just made it up, just one day. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind Avenging Force. Uh, it would never happen. Oscars are too wimpy for that. I reviewed X. It sucked. <coughs> Movie sucked. The Visit, that also sucked. Uh, Aliens, I would choose. Uh, no, that will never happen. Nickelodeon owns it, and they're going to drive it more and more into the ground. So, no, that will never happen. Yeah, I already know there's a new Halloween film. I, I guessed it. I guessed it back then. Uh, Mount. If I have to be Mount Dew, I guess Code Red. I uh, never saw Supernatural. Uh, Dead Don't Die is a boring as shit movie. Of course, I mean, why are people that surprised? I said that you know there's always going to be. Of course, John Carver's taking the paycheck. Why are people surprised? I reviewed Funny Man. It wasn't that great of a movie. Didn't watch Lamb. Yeah, I did. I grew up with the canon films. Loved them. Revenge of the Ninja, the original Cyborg, some of the Chuck Doors movies. I enjoy a lot of canon films. Favorite slasher films, but 
Uh, I love April Fool's Day. I don't know it'd be top 20 of the 80s, but uh, I do like it. Gary has just mentioned just random supernatural seasons. <laughs> Yes, I prefer The Shining much more over The Exorcist. I agree with that. Ghost Monster, John Carpenter, I don't mind that film. I don't think that film's as bad as people make it out to be. Snowfall, never saw. First two Critters are the best ones. <clears throat> the worst one is Critters a New Binge, where a critter goes down on a lady and eats her pussy out. Very Clint Eastwood film, probably Madam Force. No, I didn't watch Three's Company. I know of it, but I didn't see it. Uh, no, you don't need a remake of Mosquito. Uh, the Grudge, never was a fan of The Grudge. I prefer the, the Rain remake over The Grudge. Gary Blow Jr., why do you keep just mentioning like random Supernatural seasons? I have not seen any of Supernatural, none of the seasons. I don't mind Unforgiven, but no, it's not my favorite Eastwood film. It's not my favorite Eastwood Western film. That'd be like... High Plains Drifter or for a few dollars more. <clears throat> Killer Clones from Outer Space video game. I don't know why you need a video game of that, but hey, go for it. Why not? Um, I don't know. I, I didn't mind either Happy Death Day film. I thought they were fun for what they were. Why would I see bodies, bodies, bodies? If it's A24, why would I go and see them? <coughs> what those 90 day fiance? Do you prefer sequels or requels? I guess a sequel if it's worth a piss. There we go. Uh, we got some spam bots. So Michelle Diller, I mean, I'm indifferent to her. She's not bothered with her either way. I'm indifferent on Sarah Michelle Diller. Spam, spam, spam. I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't tell. I couldn't see. <laughs> yeah, you have a good night too, Jojo.
Yes, From Dust Till Dawn is my favorite Robert Rodriguez film. Yes. And probably I would say my favorite vampire film. I mean, 2022 has been a pretty decent year for me on movies. Uh, I liked The Batman. I liked Rescue Rangers. I liked Sound of Hedgehog 2. I liked Bullet Train. I liked Carter, the Netflix film. I liked Nope. I liked The Unbelievable Weight of Massive Talent. I didn't mind every way, everything everywhere all at once. The Black Phone I liked. So, I just nope in the black phone or the horror films I liked. Well, nope is more sci fi, so I guess the black phone. <clears throat> hey, Nick B, hope you're doing well. Um, sure, I, I guess horror comic books, why not? Yeah, I know. I did a video react. I did a reaction video to a video of Van Hage. Well, that's up there too. The original Friday Night. That's also uh, one of my favorites. No, I like Arnold much more than The Rock. I remember that being really cheap. I'm like, if I want to watch a TV show, I'm, I'll just watch The Running Man with Arnold. I mean, when people like, if you're wondering like what my taste in movies are, my favorite films are Hard Target, Leviathan with Peter Weller, I mean, Aliens, Predator 2, Predator, The Running Man, Cliffhanger, Demolition Man, Broken Arrow, uh, I Come in Peace with Dolph Lundgren, I love Stephen King's Graveyard Shift, I like Moontrap, I like Runaway with Tom Selleck, my favorite comedy is The Golden Child with Eddie Murphy, uh, Perfect Weapon, Dilly Alper, Jeff Speakman, Body Parts with Jeff Fahey, Searching with John Cho. Uh, Tremors is a favorite of mine. I love Tremors 2 Aftershocks. See No Evil, Hear No Evil with Richard Pryor, Gene Wilder. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. Yeah, Maps of Overdrive, I also enjoy that as well. 2016 film race, never seen it. Um, I like a lot of the Dirty Harry films. I like really all of them. Magnum Force is my favorite. Take care, Luis. Have a good night. Yeah, premiere. I definitely seen too many movies. Yeah, I mean, in reality, they're completely pointless compilation DVDs. I mean, maybe back to the day, if you didn't own a lot of movies, they were interesting to watch, but they're completely pointless nowadays, and seem like pretty cheap cash grabs now. Love the Adventures of Fort Fairlane. So many assholes, so little bullets. <laughs> it's a mad, mad, mad world in C because it's like three hours long. Feast or wrong turn, I like both. It's hard to pick which one I like, but I do like both. Um... 
I guess I go with Black Christmas. Hey, Jason, feeling a little bit better. All I got is this cough. Uh, Prey is one of them, along with men and a few others. I much prefer the rain over the grudge. Alive with Ethan Hawke, never saw. I like the original Godzilla from the 1950s. Gojira, I like it. <coughs> Favorite Star Wars characters, I guess Luke and Han. Pledge Night, I didn't see Pledge Night. Haven't seen Pledge Night. Uh, I would go with Fright Night. Definitely the 1998 Godzilla I'd rather watch than the 2014 one. Speed or Trio? I would go with Speed. Neither. Yeah, the 2014 Godzilla was really dull. I agree with that. Eddie the Eagle reminisces. No, I never saw them. Yeah, I like a lot of Godzilla's 70s movies. Smod Monster is one of my favorites, along with Megalon. Uh, I grew up watching WWF, so I guess... The old WWF. House of Lawn Shadows, I don't remember anything about it, to be honest. Yeah, I know about Gary Busey. I mentioned it earlier in the stream. Because someone I know, Fabio, was at that convention. He mentioned how Gary Busey was just an asshole. Favorite Red Brown film, Uncommon Valor. Awesome movie, Uncommon Valor. One of the most underrated films out there from 1983. Anybody watch it, I highly recommend Uncommon Valor from 1983. Highly recommend it. Again, to me, one of the most underrated films out there. Jedi Zilla. Favorite movie studio opening? I guess Canon Films. Samuel, I guess I would pick Stone Cold Steve Austin. Men's Club, never saw. Is there footage of the Deary Beasy thing? I doubt it. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? How's it going, Fabio? Apparently, the abuser was being difficult on Friday before he started. Yeah. Well, I saw your video, and I know he was a, just being an asshole and a dick. So I'm not really surprised. I think you even mentioned in your video that there was already talks that Gary Busey did this and did that. So I, I mentioned the guy's brains is scrambled. It's scrambled eggs. Ever since that accident, just been and he should not go do any conventions. And any ever, when your mind's that much scrambled A, it's just not worth it. Um, yeah, Uncom Uncommon Valor, like I mentioned, is one of the most underrated films out there. Easily one of the most underrated films out there. <coughs> you're not the first one, and you're not the only one to mention Tom Zavini being a dick. <laughs> That is a very common thing. I've heard that plenty of times. <laughs> uh, 
I think you're trolling. I don't think you really like Cyborg 2. I think you know Cyborg 2 is bad. I mean, look at your username. You know Cyborg 2 is bad. And then you get Let's Get Harry. What's next? Uh, Attack Force with Steven Seagal? Or, I don't know, The Wet Ones? Yeah. Hope, yeah, glad you're doing well, man. Yeah, it's just uh, all I have is the cough, though. Uh, no, Beyond Enemy Alliance has nothing to do with Uncommon Valor. They're nothing alike. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not surprised. If people ask the request, one of the requests is a review of Frank Dutes' interview with The Voice. And that Frank Dutes guy, he is so full of shit, man. It's funny, I just watched an interview with an ex-Special Forces guy debunking a lot of what Frank Dutes says. It's a pretty interesting video. <coughs> As PTSD. Then honestly, don't do shows. Don't do shows. Don't do conventions. I mean, simple as that. <laughs> yeah, and then they was going to come back to Under Siege 2 somehow in some way, and then they that idea was gone. Uh, my favorite is Robocop 1. Um, I don't really care about mean celebrities. Never have a desire to. I will say a few people like to interview. Scott Atkins has his Art of Action, and he just reviewed Ernie Ways Jr., who played Kino from the Ninja Turtles, he also mentions a bit of Surf Ninjas and other stuff, the rundown. So a uh, pretty cool interview with Ernie Reyes Jr. that Scott Atkins did. Um, yeah, the first Cyborg's good. Cyborg 2 and 3 suck. Yeah. <laughs> and then some. Uh, inappropriate. I'll put it that way. Uh, ask, uh, I almost called him Double J. <laughs> Keep thinking of Jeff Jarrett, but uh, I, forgot, I forgot his name because I'm bad with names. But ask him, he's the one who mentioned Tom Savini. Met him and he was a dick. <coughs> Arnold's not going to do King Conan. He's too old. The pass for John Lerdesamo, it sucks. Uh, I I swear, I reviewed Game Related, I think. Wasn't that good of a movie. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad to hear. <laughs> I need to go back to rewatch your channel, Fabio. I swear you've done a video on Frank Dukes. And I need to go find it and watch it again. I swear, or am I am I uh wrong about that? You can clarify Savini's a dick. Oh, so, okay, for people who say that, how was Tom Savini a dick specifically for those who are saying it? And your heroes. Never heard of that film. <coughs> for I understand, no, it's not a musical. It's just. Remember the first Joker film when you had that little theme where Joker did that little dance? There might be a scene like that in the second one, but then people go and took it and misconstrued it. Oh, it'll be a musical. No, it means there'll be like 
okay, remember the Stanley Kubert film, uh, A Clockwork Orange, when the guy seen in the rain, he's kicking the guy. That'd be like you have that scene in Colin in the musical. So no, it's not a musical. Um, I love the Three Stooges. I love uh, Red Skelton. I don't know why the guy, I mean, Frank Dukes is a liar. He's a proven liar. And when I watched the video, the export, the ex special forces guy had a good comment. I didn't even think about this, but it's true. A lot of special forces don't really care about hand to hand combat because when you're in battle, how many times are you actually going to get to a situation where you got to do a Chuck Doris? you know, type of back and forth ninja style with a person. It's going to be more, I need to go get the gun and shoot you. So they talk about how, you know, it's cool, but it's not a necessity as much as people think. Like you have to be in shape, of course, but it's more about how they get your weapon and prepare your weapon, which makes sense. It does make a lot of sense. You know, just sign the pictures. <laughs> Just the facts, man. Just the facts. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, the the video will be popping up. I watched the uh, interview he did with The Voice, and he mentioned how he was paid $25,000 to kill Steven Seagal at one point. Uh, he got 56 bouts in the Kumite, which if you look at the numbers, that doesn't add up. If one beats the other and they go next, like 56 would not be a number that would exist. <laughs> and uh, he could punch through bulletproof glass, apparently. And he stood on one leg and 66 people couldn't pull him down. I mean, people believe this. Yeah, I enjoy Red Stilton. I have some of the, a couple of the DVDs featuring him. <clears throat> no, the guy who owns it doesn't want to do that stuff. He's very, very picky with it. They're doing a 3D conversion thing for a few theaters, but the guy who owns it now, he's very, very picky and he doesn't do jack shit for Dawn of the Dead in the US. So, no, you will not see that. Waterworld? I don't mind Waterworld. Never minded Waterworld. Yeah, that's a good documentary. That's a good documentary. Definitely worth a look. Yeah, and the, that's why I saw in the the ex special forces interview, and I'm like, that does make a lot of sense. <laughs> it's fun in a movie. It's fun to watch in a movie, but yeah, in real life, uh, we're not going to be in the middle of a battlefield and be like. They buy like, where's a gun? I'm gonna shoot you in the face. <laughs> um, Fabio, we definitely need to talk again on a stream. Now that the stream yard is working, but I know you've been pretty busy with the school and stuff. But we definitely need to do something again. Sound of Dylan Night 2, I enjoyed for what it is because I like Eric Freeman's performance. Hey guys, my eyebrows are doing all the art for me. Red, good color. <laughs> I love that guy. Attack Force is a piece of shit. If you like it, then you're a piece of shit. Uh, which life? There's the Eddie Murphy one and there's the Ryan Reynolds one. Princess Bride is a good movie. Vitro Low Channel 4K. It, it'll get it from Stream Factory because they're doing all the other John Carper ones. Uh, no, I'm not in Iowa. Aquaman sucked. Phoenix, I don't think I've seen. You 
You know, that's funny because in The Voice, he didn't mention Jamaica. He mentioned, well, maybe he did say the Bahamas. I don't remember him saying Jamaica. But I guess he said he was like part of multiple Kumites or something. So maybe that's why. Creed 1 and 2 sucked. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could do the parkour like Prey Lady. Hey, Eric MacArthur. Uh, cool. I definitely need to check that out. Um, you mean you've already done the interview or you're going to do an interview? Um, yeah. It was, I mean, it was cool to see Pantera in there. <laughs> Go with Dragon Tattoo. I didn't see. Well, there's a lot of Kumites in him. Didn't see Cinderella Man. 1999 Island Dead is a good one. I like it more than the original. We didn't say Cyborg Cop 2. It said Cyborg 2 with Angelina Jolie. No one mentioned Cyborg Cop 2. <laughs> Cyborg 2 with Angelina Jolie. I think Cyborg 2 sucks. This guy thinks this is the best movie ever. Then see She Hulk. <coughs> um, all the Cars films suck. Last goal, good Dolph film. Skin Trade. Oh, cool. Good luck with the interview. Hope it turns out well. Cool. That's good to good to hear. Cool, definitely do something then. <coughs> this damn cough. Um, I don't really have a favorite right now because I like it. It I don't really have a favorite company. It's just you know I like some movies. Each one of them has done releases I've liked. Vader Syndrome, I liked Resurrection. Uh, Standard Cop, I still need to pick up. <coughs> Street Factory, I like that they did Watchers 2. Arrow Video, I liked Phantom of the Mall. Postman Always Rings Twice, never saw. Um, I like Jason Goes to Hell. <laughs> Sorry, I do. I like Jason Goes to Hell. Tough. Titty. I like Most Wanted. That and Low Down Dirty Shame, she did a Blu-ray. Tina Ever Rains actually did some pretty good movies. <coughs> The knockout story. I don't even know what the knockout story is. In elevator or they knocked over Josephine's autograph table. Huh. I don't even know what the knockout story is. At all. Brian Cranston, good actor. Never heard of that one. Yeah, Frank Deuce's BS. Nope, never played it. I've seen people play it, though. Yes, I do have a Facebook. Um, I do have a Facebook page. Uh, I haven't seen it. I've heard of it, though. And I've heard the backstory, and it proves that to be or not to be McGuire is a crybaby bitch. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. It was pretty boring. And then the director remade it for the U.S. And it was called Down. It was also called The Shaft. It had Naomi Watts in it. I actually liked it. Because the remake, The Shaft, it's an American production. And it's fun B-movie. I mean, people are sucked in and thrown off the top of the building. Uh, people are cut in half. The movie ends with Aerosmith's love in an elevator. 
So to me, like the remake is more of a fun B movie while the original try to be super, super serious. I'm like, dude, it's a movie about a killer elevator. You got to go with the B movie fun. I mean, the, the remake, there's in five minutes, there's nudity. I mean. <clears throat> he got knocked out by one of the students because he never paid him teaching. Well, I mean, you, you I could believe Fred Dews did knocked out. <laughs> Glitch tail is sorry, I don't know what it is. And Marcus Place Count. Oh, cool. What is he on YouTube or something? Last good Godzilla movie. Godzilla Final Wars. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I know. The original Dutch is called The Lift. <coughs> and the remake is called Down, a.k.a. The Shaft. And that's a fun B movie. So, everyone, I agree with that statement. Uh, Fire Emblem Part 8 sucks. Fire Emblem Part 8 piece of shit. <coughs> Love Duel, great movie. Need to pick up the Blu ray sometime. Well, you don't need to see the lift. If you want to see one, go see the remake with Naomi Watts instead. No, I ranted on Sicario 2. And I liked Sicario 1. I did a rant on Sicario 2. Yeah, Duel is great. Duel is an awesome movie. Love Duel. Love Duel. Great movie. <coughs> Where the hell is that guy who was praising Cyborg 2? Or that one guy being a pretentious post-horror, whatever the hell he's talking about. <laughs> Looks like a professor to Bigfoot or something. Yeah, I always liked the movie because I like uh, the lead guy in it, John D. LeMay. And it's definitely the goriest. Okay, if Friday 13th, if you want gore and tits, Jason Goes to Hell has gore and tits, if this is what people want. So there you go. I don't care. Who cares about the independent movie awards? Who the hell cares about that? I don't care if they had furry rim job in. I don't care if they had people dressed in My Little Pony doing a circle jerk around a wannabe Alanis Morissette cosplay. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't care about it. I wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, Duel is a classic. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind the car. I've seen the car. Arthur Blue, I haven't seen, Gunman. Yeah, who cares about award shows? Why the hell does anyone care about award shows? Extraordinary Adventures of Adele. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I remember not buying the car. I like Duel more, but I like the car.
If it's A24 horror film, I want to avoid it like the plague. Cuphead show didn't even play the video game, so I don't know. <laughs> Pristine, I don't mind, but I prefer Maximum Overdrive. So, there you go. The Marine 2, why would I care to see it? The Marine 1 sucks. Yeah, pretty much. Australia Bash sequel, Predator 2, Ramble 3, among others. Kiss the Girls was okay for what it is. Well, considering they had Michael Keaton in that Batgirl movie, and then they canceled that film, and then this Flash movie is a complete, utter clusterfuck. No, probably not. They wasted Michael Keaton's two roles, like two appearances. So honestly, no. Um, I barely remember them, the Nosferatu films. Birth of a Nation, I didn't see it. Uh, who's Jorge? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Who is Jorge? I don't even know that's how you pronounce it. Who's that? I've seen the movie, Do the Universe. It was a fun film. Do America was better. I think that was a better movie, but Do the Universe was fun. <coughs> I know they got a new show now. I haven't seen it. Uh, Nightmares, I didn't mind. Um, killer Pickup. There was a Killer Hearse with Lance Hemerson in it, if that's what you mean. Yeah, I don't mind the, uh, the anthology. It is already a thing. There's like a, a bunch of marine movies. Uh, no, if someone else wants to make a compilation, they can feel free, but I'm not going to. <laughs> the Wolfman, I never cared for. I prefer Frankenstein and Dracula over that. Favorite costume design? Mm. I don't know. I really don't know, honestly. So, sorry, I don't really have an answer to that. Um, none. I, I don't really care to see. Or at least I don't know what there could be. Hey there, hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Well, the guy I lied to you because I've never lived in Michigan and I've never worked at Kroger's. So, Crazy Jay, either he did some acid, he did LSD, or he completely lied about to you. Or he didn't watch my videos. He's talking about someone else. So I, he, he's talking about someone else. He's not talking about me, Crazy J. Sorry. <coughs> I have never been to Michigan, and I never even been inside a Kroger, let alone worked at one. So 
either that guy has some weird dreams and fantasies or he thinks he saw me and he saw someone else. So I don't know which it is, but he didn't watch me. Yeah, maybe I'm. It must have been some powerful acid if I lived in a fucking state I've never been to in my life and worked at a place I've never even shopped at, never even been in a Kroger's. <laughs> hey, Yadra, I'm doing okay. Just other than this cough. So, yeah, whoever told you that, he, I think he's putting you for a loop or something. Solar Crisis never saw. Jared Leto, he sucked as Joker. He was terrible. He was absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. Yeah, I don't know. Never even. Never even been the mission. I must have a twin. Yeah, maybe I have a twin in Michigan. I don't know about. I said Jared Leto's Joker sucked. Marto Robbie, not really a fan. Dracula 2000. Uh, not really. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> you get to see Gerard Butler as Dracula. Um, the horror show with Lance Henderson, I like the movie. Best Dinosaur Fruit Snacks. Yeah, you saw my doppelganger. It's the dark half. The dark half is a real thing. There it is. But which is the dark half? Is it me or is it this guy worse at Kroger? I'll be honest. I don't even know what the hell Kroger is. Is it just a grocery store, Kroger? I've heard the name Kroger, but I've never been in a Kroger, so I don't even know really what Kroger is. Is it just a grocery store? Is it like a regional thing? What the hell really is a Kroger? No, the only Piggly Wiggly I know is in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Joker 2, I don't think you need a sequel. You only need one movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My twin. Yeah, I'm Cyborg 1 fan. He's a Cyborg 2 fan. That's why, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's that guy that was in here earlier. Maybe he's my twin. Grocery, okay, cool. <coughs> Again, I've never even been in a Kroger. Never shopped there. Elm Street remade sucked ass. Yeah, I've seen the colony. It sucked ass. Uh, yeah, I don't mind near dark. So, uh, okay, that is Jaws for NES. Yeah, don't mind that game. I don't think that game is as bad as people make it out to be. <coughs> I like the avatar. Jesus is back, and he's going to put a C4 arrow up your ass. Really, I don't even remember the FOD remake. Were they talking about grocery stores in the FOD remake? <laughs> no, a lot of people said Tom Savini was a dick. The stuff, I do like the stuff. It's one of my favorite Larry Cohen films. No, never seen this. On what this is. What is this? These nuts. Uh, which one? I, I like the first four Halloween films. I like H2O for what it is. <coughs> oh, The Mist. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
I mean, the was there a grocery store in the Fog remake? I, I like the original Halloween. Yes, I do. Don't really care about Samaritan. I'm tired of superhero movies. Really am burned down superhero movies. Um. Well, that's cool. I always wanted to draw, but I could never do it. Was always bad at it. <clears throat> um, there's a smorgasbord of good movies in the '80s. Depends what kind of '80s movie you're looking for. Action, one man army action, creature feature, slasher films, comedies. Depends what you're looking for. Um, I like Cynthia Rothrock. I don't know if I have a favorite movie so far. But I like, I mean, she's not the best actress, but she's a good martial artist. Um, yeah, I like the 2003 Chainsaw Master. I liked it. While I'm watching, I'm rewatching uh, True Detective Season 1. Which I finally popped the, the DVD in. Hey, Fadi, doing okay? <coughs> I would go with 80s. Uh, my favorite Bill Paxton role would be as Hudson and Aliens. Yeah, no, no retreat, no surrender. Too, I like. But I, I thought you meant like film she starred in, like the actual star. Eminem, I don't mind. Let's see, you're looking through this. I like The Shining a lot more than The Exorcist. I think The Exorcist was boring as hell. Much prefer The Shining. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't know what Bruce Lee would have done in the 80s. I do not know. He probably would have wanted direct more. I think that's, I think he would have been uh, more of a director, kind of like what Clint Eastwood would do. I do. I think he would have done what Clint Eastwood did, direct more of his own movies and try to do different types of uh, genres. Halloween Horror Nights, never been there. <coughs> yeah, I like Guns N' Roses. Uh, Frailty, I love Fra Frailty. I think Bill Paxton did a wonderful job with that movie. The Nice Guys, yeah, I don't mind that film. I still don't mind that film. It's not a film we watch a lot, but I still like it. There are some issues with the ending, the finale, because it kind of all seems pointless. But uh, I liked the movie. Honest trailers, I don't watch them. One false move, I didn't mind the film. Hey, Crater J, hope you're doing well. What movies I'm looking forward to next year? I have no idea. 
Maybe John Wick 4. That's the only one I can think of. Um, I reviewed the first season of the Daredevil TV show. All night. Have a good night. Skinner with Ramey never saw. <clears throat> hey there. Yeah, love Blade 2. My favorite scene is him coming out of the blood, uh, the bloody water, and that song. It's the name of the game. And he just wrecks house, tears everyone a new asshole. Just da, 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 da. clean the damn suplex. <clears throat> Love that. That's my favorite scene. Easily my favorite scene. Love Blade 2. Fucking kids ass. I don't know what that is at the beginning. I've never heard of that film. Well, they're, they're announcing everything. I mean, why are people surprised? No, I don't watch the John Wick trailers. I go under them blind. Love the Take Your Billy Hills from 91. Underrated film. The, the opening Blade is a great scene. I wouldn't say the best of all time, but I do think it's a great scene. Kiss the girls. I didn't mind it for what it was. Poseidon with Caruso didn't care for. Fist of North Star, Dear Daniels, I don't remember the film too much. No, I didn't know there was a Hills of Ice comic book. I don't really need to know about the origin, though. I don't really need to know that. <clears throat> uh, my favorite opening to a movie is probably like a porn film or something. That's probably my favorite opening to a movie. No, it's not a good idea to make a new Blade film, but they're going to do it regardless, and it's going to suck. Fallen? Yeah, I saw that when it was good. It was called The First Power of Lou Diamond Phillips. Fairy Dairy Daniels film? Riot. It would definitely be Riot. With Sugar Ray Leonard. Lots of action, wall-to-wall -wall action. Love Riot. Stay hungry, didn't see. Dead me, not a fan. When he narrated half of In Search of Darkness and it was his fake-ass radio voice, hello there, my name is Dead me. I'm going to tell you the plot of this movie and I'm not going to tell you any information about it, but this is what the movie's about. Great, you read off the Wikipedia. Congrats to Fucking <coughs> I don't care. Uh, Ty, I'm not really interested in apostasy. Sorry. I reviewed John Q on the channel. Um, I don't know. I mean, I didn't care about Batgirl in the first place. I don't care about the Flash movie either. So if it got canceled, I wouldn't care. I think people are just, huh, they spent all that money and they wasted all that money and when you know films like Catwoman get released, like is the movie really that bad? Can it be any worse than Catwoman <laughs> or Elektra? 
Land of Oz, no. <clears throat> no, I've never seen it. But I'll end it here. It's we've been going on for about two and a half hours, so that's pretty long as is. So I'll end it here. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out for a little bit. Uh, you guys take care. You have a good night, uh, Fabio. We definitely need to do something again. Again, I know you got a busy schedule, so we'll wait till that clears up a bit. And uh, we'll go from there. So, yeah, you guys take care. We'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Peace out to everyone out there. And uh, fuck Frank Dukes. And fuck Ezra Miller. Later. <laughs>